Welcome one and all who ever may be watching this part four Baldur's Gate 3. Now I'm hoping over the last couple of videos I've sort of been recording them back to back and I've just started editing them. Um, the sound like for the game is actually really quite muted compared to other games. So initially I went in and I did my usual jank of turning down the volume and other bits and pieces. Uh, and like the volume on my own computer so you don't get any kind of echo from the microphone. But like, I could barely hear anything in the first two videos. So I've ramped up all the sound and stuff again and hopefully I can sort of get a decent balance. I smell drama okay. So I just had a thought, kind of when I finished the video. Now that we're dealing with dru druids that can shapeshift, one of the... were they oxen, cows, whatever they are up here, was apparently watching us and I'm just wondering if it's a druid. This ox makes you uneasy. Try to discern why. Okay, 10 plus 5. Well, I've got plus 5. It's not 10 plus 5. Nice. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Please do that again. Moo! <laughs> I want to learn a trick too. It's something I want. No, I can't interact with it in any way, shape, or form. I'm fairly certain that's a druid of some kind. Alright. Maybe I should also talk to these guys. Just because they were having issues. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. I saw what happened. Why are the druids holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Sounds like she made the fatal mistake of getting caught. We shouldn't get involved. She's just a child. The druids are overreacting. I'll talk to them. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting! Gods. She must be terrified. I kind of... Uh, I bet she's giving like, them hell. I know I'm a drow, and I know I'm nothing. a warlock, which are like, two fairly you evil... ...characters. And I'm sort of like, maybe I should lean more into that, but I don't know. Your welcome can be easily withdrawn, outsider. Respect our grove, or face our claws. Oh, you don't want to chat? Okay. Let's just have a little look around. Uh, hi. Do my eyes deceive me? A drow! Here. Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. You were at the gates just now, no? 
when the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Do I want to... I... Mm. And there's no overstating my disinterest. I've no time for questions. I'll make it very quick. Hand to heart. I'm just very suspicious of him, but okay, ask your questions. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, but remember nothing useful about goblin social order or behavior. <laughs> I'm gonna give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? I think there's been a misunderstanding. What do you want exactly? The truth, my friend. Not a jot, more or less. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? I don't think so. I was concentrating on not dying. Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Goblin superstition, not worth the ink or parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Wait, about our conversation earlier, why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. That's fair. That's what I say to people all the time. Your stories need more dragons. <laughs> okay, so stuff is going on. I can't yes. move apparently. Yes, I see. What is with all these bears? I, I could yeah, you. thank you. Is the bird a druid? <laughs> uh, there's a pig. Is that a druid? Okay, I'm just trying to find where we need to go. Through this door? Will this take us to the inner sanctum? Madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Thief? Poison? What's the girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. 
Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Don't druids cherish harmony? Jailing the girl disrupts nature's balance. Oh, I should have read her thoughts. I saw that at the very end there. Nice. I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Cut. Thank you, Korga. Master Holsen would- Halsen isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Uh, is that What's saying she needs to talk to me? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. All right, turn to other matters. Uh, let's just keep going, I guess. All right, Koga. A deep elf in our grove on this day. A sign, or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than a beloved child of Loth? I have no love for the Queen of Spiders. Indeed. But you do exhibit a talent for self-preservation. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then it seems I'd best speak to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded druids they've always annoyed me um should i talk to anyone while i'm here oh hello wolf silver nice to see you Oh, no, that's not where I want you to go. Here goes nothing. What, well, you're just going through a door you've already gone through, come on. Uh, sure. Keep their confidence if you insist. 
There's like so much around to explore and it's kind of like when I play through this again, because that is definitely going to happen, I'm just going to have the greatest time exploring everywhere. You guys are welcome. You ever scare me like that again and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. No more light-fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean... Thank you. For helping me. It's our job to get us out of here safely. Not oh, yours. what did I receive? It's my job too. The druids don't care about locket. us. No one does. Dancing lights. Okay, cool. We have to look after ourselves. I think I can use that. Oh, well, that's just a brass locket. <laughs> Wait, where'd the one go that I just got? Oh, there it is. Jeez, can't believe that took me so long to find. Oh yeah! So I can now cast Dancing Lights, I guess. That's neat. Stop! I was fine. My mother was a heartbeat away from fighting a bear. Isn't that how Okay, um... I should... Investigate supplies for camp I think and then we need to go talk to Zevlor where have all my merchants gone oh we just walked straight past one excellent Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. Okay, you don't have anything worthy of a uh, camp, uh, but there were some things I wanted to get rid of, or the shields. Take that, and then the leather armor, we don't need that. <laughs> That's a hat! Oh, I love it! I wonder if we can wear it. Does it count as anything? Nice! Look at me! Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. Oh, why won't I receive gold? All right, look, I don't care. Just take it. <laughs> look at me with my hat on. Don't I look fantastic? Um, you, what do you have? You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. I can't take her seriously with that hat on. I love it so much. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Nice, okay, we received some gruel. Fantastic. Um, will you sell me anything? Quirks and sundries. Oh, it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, Pickle. 
Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Hey, bother. Do you have food? Oh, it looks like you've got intestines. Nice. Um, uh, yeah. Kind of looks like the only stuff that she has of any kind of use. Oh, and water. Potion of greater healing. Oh, wow. How much is that? 170. How much do I even have? I have no idea. Um, oh gosh, a ritual staff. Where do we get that from? <laughs> do you want a shovel? I'll give you a shovel. Take a javelin. Take care now, sweetie. Yeah, okay. I don't quite understand how this whole bartering system works. No it. It's on the to-do list to figure out, I guess. I don't know. What happened? Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Leaving, leaving's the grove. Leaving's the grove. Oh. Okay, I want to go with number one, but I'm assuming that's a typo. Leaving the grove is the best option. I can help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Kill the goblin hordes leaders? I'll see what I can do. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Just, Just have to say... We're civilians now, remember? With respect, sir. Being a Hellrider is for life. They can't take... They can, and did. Avernus changed things. All right, I just have to say, some of, like, the cuts yes. in the conversations are, like, pretty brutal. I feel like there's a bit of a fine-tuning that probably needed to happen. Like, the animations are a bit funny, sometimes the dialogue doesn't necessarily sync up with the voice, uh, the mouth movements. Which, I mean, that one could just be my computer. But I think so far, that and, like, the controls. <laughs> Only thing going wrong with this this game. Uh, wait, why are we going back here? Oh, Nettie! Where was she? I totally missed that. Was she back with, um, Corgan? Kaigan?
Oh, okay. I just walked into a tree, sure. <laughs> Okay, so she's in here somewhere, which I guess makes sense. We were told she was in the inner sanctum. Are you Nettie? Oh, you are Nettie. Hello. I see you. Just give me a moment. This medica. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. Where did you see another drow? That's neither here nor there. Look, you obviously want something. What is it? Healing. Looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. It's no good way of putting this. I, um, I have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? What other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped into my eye. That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Oh. Lead on. Oh, that's Don't a worry dead about him someone. The table. I'm not in the habit of killing drow. Hey. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. He and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's that plant? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? 
All right, hand it over. Swear it. I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. You must have learned something from studying them. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. So you think it's only a matter of time? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected. Folks like you have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. So, go and get him? I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the groom. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. I wonder if the goblin leaders will be in the same place. I also... I also couldn't help but laugh throughout that entire conversation, purely because every so often... Keep it, in case things start to go very wrong. Every so often it would cut to my character, who just is like so deadpan and emotionless, it's not funny. And I don't know if it's just because I'm a drow and that's kind of how they've been made or if it's sort of everyone's character is like that. It's hilarious. But um, it does kind of take me out of it a little bit because, you know, every time it just cuts to my character, it'll be like some emotional moment or something where it, she should be reacting and it's just like, nah. I'm going to just stand here and stare at everyone awkwardly. Okay, so we are just apparently out for goblins. We've got... Oh, travel to the goblin camp, search for Halston in the goblin camp. Nice! Oh, I love it when... Oopsies. I love it when quests sort of line up. Okay, uh, let's just get to the gate and then I might end the video there. This looks like it's going to be one giant map, which is pretty crazy to think about. Um, oh, hey, you're one of those drow, right? I heard stories about you. How you all live underground and steal kids away. You're thinking of Loth, Sworn. Should you see a pair of red eyes, run. Oh. 
Okay. Um, hey, would you like to see something fun? Go on, take this ring. It's lucky. Okay. Call it. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Nice, kid. Got your own side business going. This is no magical ring. The runes are gibberish. Hey, not so loud. You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother, she's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. Two of us right here just looking so disapprovingly at this poor child. Uh Thank what do you, you have to trade? That means so much. I mean it does sound like a scam to me. That's what I got. Uh I mean if you've got food. Wow, he has a lot of stuff. So, hold on, can I... Okay, I'm just... I'm thoroughly confused by how this all works. Can I just give him gold? Nope, he's unhappy about that offer. Do you want a necklace? Still unhappy. I don't know. You bought something. I don't know what's going on right now. Was that kid stealing from me? Why is this not in any way being voiced? All right, I'm going to observe her silently. Maybe these just crocodile tears. Okay, you notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. Relax, I won't get angry. You didn't even manage to get anything from me. I can't do this anymore. Mattis, I'm sorry. Is there a reason? Did something happen? Like, was there some kind of bug? So, wow, he just took all of my gold. That's nice. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Okay, I don't actually care, thank you. I was more just wanting to check that the game hadn't just suddenly bugged and no one was able to speak. Okay, well so much for making it to the gate and ending the video. I think I shall just end this here after that yes. weird moment. Once again, some issues that probably needed fine-tuning, but we'll keep on keeping on.